Valentine's Day 2013, marked not by romance, but by gunfire inside the home of Oscar Pistorius. Neighbors say they heard arguing. Pistorius says he heard an intruder. Whatever it was, it left Pistorius's girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp, dead, shot in the head, arm, and hip. So was it murder or a terrible mistake? Oscar Pistorius detailed his side of the story in a rare affidavit given to the court. Hours before the fatal shooting, Pistorius wrote, it had been a normal evening at home, a quiet dinner, TV in bed for him, yoga for her. He told the court hours after they went to bed, he was jolted awake, filled with fear after hearing a noise in the bathroom. Pistorius wrote in the affidavit, I grabbed my nine millimeter pistol from underneath my bed and screamed at the intruder to get out. Then he explained, he fired shots at the toilet door and shouted to Riva to phone the police. To me, the instinctive thing, you hear sounds in the bathroom, if only to say, hey, honey, did you hear that? You do that first before you move to the bathroom to fire shots. According to the affidavit, Pistorius, who said he did not have his prosthetic legs on at the time of the shooting, found Steenkamp slumped over, adding, she died in my arms. Pistorius's agent got a frantic call at 4 a.m. Just had this voice of a girl frantically on the other side shouting, please, you have to rush to Pretoria, you have to come to Oscar's house. Prosecutors say this was no tragic mistake, that Pistorius calculated the perfect angle, aiming downward at the toilet. And there's this, a floor plan of the apartment, which the state says proves Pistorius could not have crossed the bedroom without realizing Steenkamp wasn't in bed. Photos leaked to the media by police show the bloody crime scene. Hi, I'm Reva. I'm busy shooting the December cover for FHF. Reva Steenkamp was just 29, a model and law school graduate. These exclusive photos are from happier times. Given to CNN from a source close to Pistorius, they are some of the last photos the couple had taken together. Reva Steenkamp's family still heartbroken. You sort of wake up in the morning expecting Reva still to give a phone call. Still so many unanswered questions. Did Steenkamp really enter the bathroom unnoticed? And why lock the door? Was she trying to protect herself from Pistorius or from an intruder? And what about the bloodied cell phones inside the bathroom? How did they get there? <laughs> Pistorius was charged with premeditated murder but released on little more than $100,000 bond. He's been awaiting trial here at his uncle's multi-million dollar mansion. Oscar is uh, like we all are, still very traumatized. Some who know Pistorius tell CNN they're not surprised this happened. He would have a trip switch and uh, you know, he'd get violent and angry and he'd fight with people and he'd cause a lot of problems. And I mean, that's the incident with me and him was because he was drunk at a party and he started shouting and swearing on the phone. Pistorius's past will be on full display at trial. The Blade Runner himself is expected to testify, as are former girlfriends and forensic experts. Hello, 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 hello. And the cameras will be there.